Hello, it's Friday Souls. It's Friday Souls. What you gonna make? If you want to hear about what I've been doing this week in my sewing room, please stay tuned. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, my name is Shalisa and this is So She Designs. Today is Friday Sews. If you are returning, thank you so much for supporting my channel by viewing my videos each week. Today's Friday Sews video is going to be a small pattern haul, um, what I've been working on, a few event updates, as well as some Happy Meal. So let's get started. So before we begin, let's talk about the question of the day. North America, the leaves are turning and down under, the buds are blooming. So the question is, what are your favorite colors from the season's palette? So for me, fall, I like that burnt orange color. Um, it just does something to me. Like this more burnt orange, these maroons, deep colors like this, I really love. But I really love that burnt orange color. There's just like this time of year, I love to see that um, color. <laughs> kind of like, I got to see that just like people have to have their pumpkin spice. I like that color. So... For me, this time of year, that's my favorite color. So next, let's get started with the small pattern haul that I picked up while I was out of town. I don't know if Joann's have different sales at different times. I would think that it's universal across the board. But like I say, when I walked in, I was very surprised to see they still had to sign up from when the Vogue was on sale. They still had to sign up for when Simplicity was on sale. So I knew it was a different sale because they had a new sign that said Butterick was on sale. And the McCall sign was gone. So I don't know. I do know that this week, um, Thursday through Saturday, which will be the, um, the 12th through the 14th, they will have um, Butterick and McCall's on sale. So if you are able to catch the Joanne sale, they have a $1.99 pattern sale, Butterick and McCall's this week. But I'm going to share with you some of the things that I picked up on a sale that I happened to stumble across. Didn't even know there was a sale. <laughs> so let's get started. This is Simplicity 9469. I actually picked up this because I saw um, Perfect Jacket. She has a YouTube um, channel here. And she, um, sometimes she uses shirt patterns as the bodice for her dress. And I saw her use this shirt pattern for the bodice of one of her dresses. And I was like, that was such a creative idea. So I wanted to make sure I put this pattern in my stash. Again, this is Simplicity 9469. Next, I picked up Simplicity 9262. I thought this was really cute. Um, I don't see what it's rated as, but it looks very simple to me. Um, not a whole lot to the dress looks like it's going to be really simple and easy to put together and i just thought it was like a really cute casual dress to have it looks like you can do um uh elastic in the waist or not but i i liked it like like i say it looks really cute and simple so i picked it up again that's simplicity 9262 next i picked up simplicity 8921 and I am in love with this shirt, especially view B. 
I just love that little wrap on the front, but I actually love all the views of this shirt. So I would actually like to just maybe make at least one of each view. I think it is a very cute pattern. Uh, let's see, does it have the rating? No, it doesn't tell me what, if, what is rated. Um, is it rated easy or average? But I just think that the, all the tops are really cute, but I just really fell in love with view B. So I picked up Simplicity 8921. I also picked up this Laura Ashley um, pattern by Simplicity. And in case you don't know, guys, when you pick up this one that I picked up happens to be the display model. Um, I mean, the display pattern. And for some reason, when you go into this store, and I've, I've heard other people say this, this particular store that I went to, it doesn't happen here where I live at. But I, while I was out of town, I saw it quite often. I guess they don't unpack the boxes and they just fill the display. So all I had access to was the display model. I mean the display pattern. So this is Simplicity 9814. And this is a Laura Ashley pattern, but I thought it was really cute. It's a tote bag, there's a handbag, there's a little makeup pouch as well as a hat. Very great um, options with this pattern. I think you would like it. Um, and it's an average to sew pattern. Great pattern. I also picked up sim this simplicity pattern because I like the, um, I don't know if I showed you this one, the Know Me pattern that, that Kichi B style came out with where her pan flap, pant flap was kind of, to the side well this pattern is the same way and i didn't notice it but this is nine eight two three and it but it is rated as easy and it has four um is it four three different versions of the pants but i really am crazy about this little new slanted flap that they have on the pants um really cute simplicity nine eight two three I picked up another display pattern and it is an easy to sew pattern. It is um, a retro um, vintage, uh, retro Butterick 1960s. Their, pa the pattern number is B6955. I thought this was really cute. I love both views, but of course, of course, I like the view with like the circle squirt version. I think it is really cute. Again, it is rated as easy and it is um, Butterick 6955. I picked up another one and I thought this one was just um, super cute. And I guess it could be a robe or duster or some something of the sort. Uh, it is rated as easy as well. I thought this would be really cozy to make for the winter time. And like I say, it is rated as easy. And it is Butterick 6967. Really cute pattern. I actually like both views. One's just longer than the other, but I really like both views. Very cute pattern. Um, so I'm looking forward to making that one real soon. And last but not least, I got a coat pattern that is rated as easy as well. It is a retro buttery 19, 1950. Um, these are reproduction coat. But the again, this was the the um, display pattern, but the pattern number is 6957. So those are just some of the patterns. Like I said, I walked in Joann's, didn't know they were on sale. So I picked up a couple of patterns. And if you um, are in Joann's this weekend, Thursday through Saturday, they will have, they do have the $1.99 pattern sale going on for Butterick and McCall's. If you um, are into patterns and just want to know when the sales are or want to keep up with them, I may not always um, talk about them on my videos, but if you tune into Rochelle Handmade Designs as well as So Lovely with Grace, these ladies usually post the sales weekly, and I think Zelda Souls posts weekly as well. They post um, the sales that are going on. 
um i want to say so lovely with grace posted it on uh her um, community tab and rochelle handmade she mentions it in her video as well as if you follow her on instagram she usually has an instagram post of the sales so just in case you want to keep up with the sales those are two ladies that you can follow to keep up with that information so next is what have i sewn i haven't sewn much um like i told you guys last video um hands up to the ladies who have small kids and can sew i don't see how you do it <laughs> but you do do it but i didn't get much sewn the past week before i came home I did make three shirts for my grandchildren, um, their siblings, and it was a, I didn't take, I forgot to take a picture of the shirts, but it was just a shirt that I picked, um, the, the oldest child, I just took a shirt and just kind of copied a shirt and made a pattern from that and just adjusted the size as I kept making the shirt. And it was just a simple short, short sleeve shirt out of knit material that i got from joanne fabrics but i wanted to hopefully i'll find a picture of the fabric that i used because the reason they got this shirt is because they were with me when we went in joanne fabrics and the little kids can read really good <laughs> so they was like this glows in the dark so we bought we bought the fabric it happened to be enough for the three shirts and so i made all three of them a shirt that maybe if they're having a halloween day or something at school they'll get to wear or hopefully they'll get to wear before the month is out so I did make that as well as I made the new grandbaby, the little um, flare leg pants with the little shirt with the bell, with the bell cuff for her little first um, Halloween because there's no Halloween costume really going to be her size. So I just did the same thing with her. I just copied a, um, a shirt, the design of a shirt that she already had. I made it, I think I made it up just maybe an inch bigger or maybe a half an inch bigger. I don't remember. I just made it a little bigger since she'll be wearing it within the next couple of weeks. And um, hopefully I'll get pictures of her wearing it and I can share that with you guys. But I will put a picture of that outfit. I did take a picture of it and show you what I made for her to wear for Halloween. So last week, last Thursday, October 5th was my birthday. I wasn't here. I was out of town. So Grace from So Lovely with Grace, she sent me some happy mail for my birthday. So I've been waiting to open this. I was like, I can't wait till I get home to see what it is. So I'm going to open that to see what it is. As well as I have some happy mail from Osset of Osset Stitch Treasures. So I am so thankful. Thank you, ladies. Thank you both for what you um, have sent me. We're gonna open them now to see what I got. So the first box I have right here is the one from Grace. So we're gonna see what it is. And, <laughs> and it's wrapped up. I didn't even know they did that. Oh, this is so cute. Look at these the little pins, guys. That is so cute. You keep your head up gorgeous and fabric sale i'll be <laughs> i'll be right back now i need to wear this every day <laughs> every day <laughs> so let's see what's in the bag i didn't even know you could send stuff already gift wrap that's so cute i need to make them do that for christmas i just send people stuff it says happy birthday shalisa i hope you enjoy your day from grace Oh, I love this community. I like this bag. I'm going to have to keep this. Oh. Oh. Oh, it has a little keychain. Oh, that's so... I don't have my glasses. I don't have my glasses. Please don't think I don't like it, Grace. I just can't read it. It's so little. Is that not the cutest? <gasps> OMG. Let's see if I can see. Beautiful threads come together one stitch at a time. <gasps> that is so freaking cute. 
can you see? Oh my God, you guys can't see. There's like a little tape measure, some scissors, and a sewing machine. Oh my God, I'm gonna put this on my keys right now. Thank you, Grace. O-M-G. Oh, she's so sweet. Life is short by fabric. <laughs> Oh my God. And she told me that one time, guys, I was on myself real bad about buying so much fabric, but she's right. Life is short. Buy the fabric. Oh my God, this is so cute. Y'all, I just, I love stuff with sewing on it. And look at the mug. Any day spent sewing is a good day. OMG. This is going to be my tea mug. I don't drink coffee, but I drink tea. Really cute. Thank you so much, Grace. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. I love everything. Oh, my God. I can't wait to put this on my keys. Oh, this is so... Thank you. Thank you, Grace. Now, let's open Austin's um, box. I do know that this is some fabric because she did reach out to see if it was okay if she sent it to me. So let's take a look. And she's so sweet. She really loves that we are doing that Embrace the Lace series. I love it too. I just, I love working with lace. Oh, she sent a card. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so sweet. This is so sweet. She says, hello, Shalisa. I hope this card finds you doing well. I hope you enjoy the lace. I look forward to seeing another beautiful creation of yours. Thank you for sharing your gifts with the world. Peace always, Asit. Thank you, Asit. I really appreciate this. I do. Oh, my gosh. I appreciate this. Guys, y'all just don't know. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this orange. I have to make something in the fall for this. Oh, look at that. Isn't that... Look at that, guys. That is so beautiful. Oh, I have an idea already. Oh, that's pretty. Yes. Oh my goodness. I have an idea of what I'm gonna do with this. Is that not pretty? Oh my gosh. I have, oh my, I know what I'm gonna make. Stay tuned to see what I do. Yes, oh, here's another one. Oh yeah. That's so pretty. Yes, Ooh. I know exactly what I want to do with these. Thank you so much, Asit and Grace. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everyone who just reaches out and watch my videos. I really appreciate you guys just watching my videos. You are helping me out so much. And I just want to say thank you to everybody. But thank you, thank you, thank you. There, there are no words to say how grateful I am for the gifts. And I really appreciate it. Thanks again. <laughs> All right, let's move on. If I can stop smi <laughs> smiling. <laughs> All right, guys, let's move on. I want to also um, tell you about a few things that are going on. First thing I want to tell you about is the Richmond, Virginia Frog Tales. For, so if you're in the area or you're close by and you feel like driving, I just wanted to give you some information on the Frog Tales. So uh, I'm in a group on Facebook and the name of the great group is Richmond Really Souls. So feel free to go to Facebook and ask to join. You can join even if you don't live in Richmond because there are people always on there sharing their information, their mates, um, tips. It's just a wealth of information. So if you want to join, go to Facebook and join Rich, Richmond Really Souls. Last year, Richmond Really Souls did our first frog tales. So we're doing it again this year, but this year it is called Richmond, Virginia's Frog Tales. 
So I just wanted to put it out there in case you were interested in coming or if you join the group, you may not be able to come. Maybe you're in California or somewhere and you can't come. No problem. We have that covered too. What you'll do is take a picture of yourself in your frock and you will go, we are going to have information on the group where you can send that picture to and you will be in a slideshow of people who would like to show what they made and you your slide the slideshow is going to be showing throughout the party and i think that is just such a nice idea there's also going to be a fashion show where people or or sewers who have sewn their frock can show off what they made you don't have to participate in the in the fashion show it's for those who want to participate in the fashion show you can make anything from a ball gown to a bow tie whatever you make you can model it there's no stipulations on what can be modeled and who can model what this is not that type of party so i just wanted to share with you that if you would like to attend or if you join the group richmond really sews there will be a link in there um, or an email address to the person who you can send your picture to or uh, the frock that you make so you can be a part of the event without being there so i just wanted to let you know it is going to be november 17th and it will be held um it's going to be at seven o'clock and it will be at the branch museum and the address is 2501 monument avenue richmond virginia so just wanted to let you know about that in case you wanted to participate or you've never been to Frog Tales and you want to just see what it's about. We do have last year's, our version, our first version of last year's fashion show on YouTube. And I'll try to link that video in the description box below. I also wanted to talk about the upcoming Embrace the Lace with myself, Laura from Sewing Up Style, as well as Grace from So Lovely with Grace. We do this series, series each month. Once a month, we put the video out of a garment that we've used um, lace to create. So sometimes, for the most part, we use the same pattern and we just do our own take with our lace on that pattern. Um, but this this month is a little different. We'll be using a pattern but we may not be using the same one. So I just want you guys to be on the lookout for this, this month's version of Embrace the Lace. It's gonna be a treat and you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. So who are we gonna shout out this week? So Renity, So Renity, S-E-W-R-E-N-I-T-Y. Go to her channel, guys. She does pattern hauls. She does sewing reviews, uh, pattern reviews on the stuff that she's made, as well as she gives tips about organization and just things around fixing up her, her um, sewing room, her sewing space. So when you get a chance, please go and visit so so Serenity. I hope I'm saying it right. <laughs> But get it, when you get a chance, go and visit her channel. I, tr I try to shout out someone each week because, like I said, due to the algorithms or however things go in the YouTube world, you may not see who I see. And just to put it out there to let you know, there are so many people out there who are showing their makes or showing what their creativity, and they just may be an inspiration to you. So if you get a chance, go check out Soul Renity's channel on YouTube. I just want to say a special thanks to everyone who's taking the time out of their special day to watch this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to go and sew something fabulous. Bye-bye.